Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to my review video on my 2020 Husqvarna 701 Enduro. She's done quite a few thousand miles now and uh, really put her through her paces most of the time. It's, um, <laughs> it's one of those things that I can literally just leave it in the garage, not touch it for months and just jump back on it and it's like I've never been off of it i absolutely love this thing a bit of a strange one because you can buy it from husky new and unlike all the other enduros it actually comes with a two-year warranty so <laughs> that's what may actually made me go to this because i'm pretty lazy um yeah but it's it's quite heavy uh for what it is um so i don't know <sighs> It's sort of a dual sport, sort of not a dual sport. It's um, <laughs> it's one of those ones that sits in the little grey area that we don't really know what to call it. But I tell you what, it is an absolute barrel of laughs. I would say it's probably more leaning on the enduro side of things. It's um, it's not too comfortable on long distances, and uh, let's just say that the seat. I've sat on comfier pieces of wood, to be honest. Um, funny enough, that log there is probably just as comfortable as this thing. But can't really blame that on the bike because you could always obviously buy another seat, buy the comfort one. But my plan was originally to be quite lazy with this thing. But uh, as you can see from the luggage rack, the uh, number plate, which is actually... Um, funny because that's actually built in but I'll get to that another point <sighs> tires and tubeless system uh, engine covers and pedals some jets near uh, yeah. an RAF base so get that from time to time unfortunately but oh well interrupting my video so when she has been down, and she has been down uh, quite a few times, because I am uh, quite a terrible rider off road, I don't seem to know when to get off the throttle. And uh, this thing has absolute bags of torque and power. So, yeah, if you're not paying attention, she will definitely just spit you off the back or onto the side, depending on what you're doing. And fortunately, quite a few of my friends have. Uh, recorded this because you know they're great people and uh love to make an absolute fool out of myself which to be honest i don't blame them because i do it quite often so it's definitely worth them but this thing's done we're done just over four thousand miles now and the only so obviously apart from regular oil changes and filters um and brake pads but that's pretty normal because riding off road you get all sorts of dirt and debris in the pads which will wear them down a lot quicker as you can see got quite uneven wear there actually that side to that side so yeah that'll probably need to be done soon that's my second set of pads actually in that which is a bit of a pain the issue i have ever had with this um is actually to do with a recall now i got the recall letter um I think it was maybe, uh, I want to say April of 2022. Um, so it took them two years to send that recall letter out. And it was actually for the uh, clutch slave cylinder, which uh, sits inside the engine, um, just in there. So what it actually done was uh, leak. Now, <laughs> what? I didn't realise this because uh, obviously it's a hydraulic clutch and there's no, you've got no sight to see on this so you can't see any fluid levels. So it actually let through, luckily it didn't go in the engine, but it, it let through. So <laughs> I only found on a ride and uh, I'll chuck the link in the uh, description to one of my friend's videos because fortunately he uh, recorded the whole thing and trying to ride this without a clutch is, um, yeah, very interesting. but. Give the guys at Husky their due. I got that letter, uh, literally, just coincidence, when I got home from that ride, that letter was sat there on the side and uh, yeah, gave it over to the guys at Husky, swapped all the parts out and no problem since. So she's been absolutely lovely, but I did say I wasn't really gonna do a lot to this thing. Um, 
but like all things i'm sure everyone says that and then next thing you know you've got tubeless you've got your hand guards you've got your bar risers you've got your phone mount and then while you've done all of that you may as well put a luggage rack on for when you go away then you got everything else that comes with it so i'll do a separate couple of videos on all the different stuff that i've done to this but this thing comes with quite a few nice extras being husky uh, or Hus husqvarna if you want to try and pronounce it properly and absolutely destroy it like i did um fortunately with this thing we've got a short shifter up and down on this which is really nice got the nice wp explorer forks which are absolutely amazing and suspension wise this thing is absolutely incredible just soaks up all of the bumps especially being out here all the whoops and uh yeah as long as you're not whiskey throttling it then uh you can get over those quite nicely the main things i've done for this which absolutely transformed the bike is got rid of the tkc 80s that uh this bike comes with and chucked on a set of maxis tires max enduro tires these are so absolutely recommend these the only problem is because it's a big heavy bike and bags of torque what it does do is it absolutely tears that rear tire to pieces so that's the only thing i think i've gone for about four <laughs> four rear tires on this thing and uh i do not ride it hard so i dread to think what someone who could ride it properly you us to it so the only bad thing i've got about this i don't know whether it was the place where i kept it before but you can see there's quite a lot of it's almost like corrosion on the swing arm and it's it's only on the swing arm that you get it um i don't know if anyone else has the same thing but I need to try and attack it with a wire wall, but I think it's where it was kept in a damp uh, garage before this one. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and try and clean that up at some point. But other than that, I really am struggling to think of any issues that I've had with this thing. Um, yeah, I, I literally can't fault it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, as I said earlier, I've done quite a bit to this bike, even though I said I wasn't going to. Um, definitely the thing that saved me quite a lot is the Ace Abyss wraparound handguards. Um, these things are absolutely solid and the amount of times I've hit things and uh, it's protected my knuckles and hands from uh, getting absolutely crushed because I'm a bit of a wally off-road. Um, yeah, I can't. They're definitely worth their weight in gold, really. They look uh, quite nice, the white and yellow ones go with the bike quite a lot. I uh, couldn't really find a lime, limeish sort of colour one, but so the yellow had to do, but uh, yeah, seems to be all right.